The following production of the Bank Cartoon Radio Hour contains fictional material used strictly for satirical and comedic purposes, and it should not be accepted as being factual, and all voices are impersonated. Welcome! You! It's huge when it comes to learning a new guy's rear end. Oh, put stop it! I know what, the National what, Football League. What, 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 please? Sometimes they arrive and they smell like sex. That's how we do it. Bang cartoon. Look here, things need to be done around here. A lot of people have picked us to put in on seat, and rightfully so. Welcome to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. I did my job! I showed up! And now, here's John and Tom. Hello, yeah. Second pick, the Philadelphia Eagles select Donovan McNabb, quarterback, Syracuse University. A lot of people have picked us to bring the MC, and rightfully so. Our beloved, chunky soup eating, injury prone leader, Donovan McNabb. What are you doing? They're going to wait and take the two minutes, is what they're going to do. I, try to, you know, I, I think I, McNabb's tired. He's tired yeah. as well. It reminds me of a little bit of the Super Bowl. Fourth and one. Eagles last gas here. They keep it going. And they run it, and they don't get it. They run Westbrook on third and short, and on fourth and short. And that will run an official end of the game. And the New York Giants come into Philadelphia, beat the Eagles again in Pennsylvania. This is how you thank us for our loyalty. I'm tired of seeing eight men in the box. Do you like hurting the Eagle fans? I'm definitely not the, the whole reason why we lost. I'm not the full blame for, for everything that goes on around here. That's right. It ain't my fault. That's right, Donovan. It's not your <laughs> fault. It ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You know what? What? Why can this team that passes the ball 70% of the time be counted on, I mean counted on like the sun will rise, to run the ball on fourth and short? (laughs) They do it all the time, and they've been stuffed all year long in big situations. Right. Right. I'm talking to our mutual, well, you can't stand to me. I kind of like the dude. The dude runs it inside the Eagles uh, blog, inside the Eagles.com. And, uh... Oh, I think it was a great call. I agree with the call. Oh. This dude is the biggest. He's as big an apologist as uh, as our, our our Republican friend from North Carolina, <laughs> who we haven't heard from. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's hiding his head. Yeah. We haven't heard from him. Uh, I didn't know. I was kind of torn there. I didn't know who to root for. I just kind of wanted them both to smash each other's brains in. Yeah, I always root for the ambulance driver in that game. Let's get <laughs> right. a you know get a bunch of smiles from him. Oh, man. <laughs> there he is driving Donovan McNabb off the field. There he is carting Eli Manning off the field. Right, right. Welcome to yeah. show 108. 108. Hey, isn't this the big one? This is the big show? This is the big show. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the anniversary of show 107. It's the one-week anniversary of show 107. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I had to go into uh, the NFL chat room sun- yes, of course. Sunday night while that game was, uh, you know, playing out there at the end and oh those eagle fans john it was a good game it was a great game yeah i really enjoyed it It was but eagle fans didn't think so you know what else is new? what i you You know know, all of the the buds off the rose the phillies won the series so what well you know mcnab lost again we don't we don't really type a whole lot in chat rooms anymore everybody's got a microphone everybody's talking Right. On a microphone, you can hear voices. You're having conversations in chat rooms now. That's how it works. If you haven't been in one, just come with your microphone. You don't need to be able to type fast, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, and have something to say for God's sake. Right. <laughs> we well, we get plenty of people that don't really have anything to say. But anyway, this right. guy, uh, this this Eagle fan uh, was in the room, and uh, he jumped up on mic and just started ripping into Andy Reid. And of course, I had to record this. So this is your typical Philadelphia Eagle fan out there somewhere in America. You know, Andy Reid should be fired, man. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of Andy Reid, man. God, I hate that 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 fat ass. God damn, <laughs> they don't run the ball all damn game. Then they run the ball three straight ga- straight straight downs. What the fuck? And then they run a stupid eye formation. What the fuck? <laughs> 
three great, great, great times. <laughs> what the fuck? I love that. That's my favorite part. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, they throw the ball all the time. And then every time that it gets down to the nitty gritty, man, they try to run it and they get stuffed. Yep. It's getting comical. Yep. <laughs> now, that's one sample of an Eagle fan. Right. Now, I got another guy that is just ready to go postal. Oh, really? In, in the, the, the Philadelphia Eagles organization. Listen to this guy go off. And this is just the first one. He's going to, here, he's going to make his opening statement now. Mm-hmm. All right, this Eagles fan. I don't hardly ever talk, but I'm sick of that piece of shit, Donovan McNabb. I'm sick of watching his shit-eating grin every time he <laughs> makes a mistake. I'm sick of the watching him go over and give, hug out the other team and smile like a fucking piece of shit he is. I'm just so sick. I'm sick of I'm sick of Donna McNabb. I'm so sick of that shit-eating grin on his face. I'm sick of the fat ass that coddles him like a, like a baby. I'm sick of the son of a bitch that thinks Donna McNabb's going to win it all for us. I'm so sick and tired of Andy Reid press conferences. Well, it's my fault. I've got to put him in better position to make the play. I'm so sick of it. I am sick and tired of watching our defense do what it needs to do to win. I'm sick of McNabb. Bad, bad handoff to Dallas game. I'm sick of they can't get one freaking hot yard for a touchdown. On I'm sick of them. That's it. I'm watching the Sixers. I'm sick of them. I'm through. That is it. Until they fire frickin' Reed, until they get rid of that piece of trash, McNabb, that's it. Oh, there's a Fairweather fan for you. He's not even going to watch oh, them the rest man. of the year. That is a nice rant. That is a Class A rant right that, there. That's just his opening statement. Oh, really? He has more? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait till you hear this guy. Here's okay. My, this, is my, this is my favorite. This is a real quick clip, but this, this, is, this is the typical Philadelphia Eagles fan right here. This is so typical. Listen. Gosh, I hate him. Oh, man, it's painful. Painful. Uh, but... I'm proud of my Phillies. I'm proud of my Phillies. <laughs> and proud of the soul. And right. I'm proud of the Philadelphia soul. <laughs> I'm going to go watch the Sixers now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here he goes. He continues. Yeah, I'm I'm sick. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick. Of, I'm hey, by the way, oh if, you, if you haven't figured it out, he's sick, John. He's sick. He's, he's sick. He's sick. He's sick. <laughs> Nap, I've had it. I've he's had, had it. it. You know the game, the the game against Dallas where he went to hand off. He can't even frick a hand off a ball. <laughs> he's had problems since he's come in the league, uh, handing the frickin' ball. Oh off. my God! He's, he's so slow to get it into the halfbacks or the running backs' hands. It it, it telegraphs the play. Um, <laughs> he, yeah, not the halfback, Tom. The running back. Right. <laughs> all about his arm and his running ability and he he's not even good at that i don't think he really cares he's just going through the motions oh. andy reed just does the same old shit they need a change up they need something new i want to see if a quarterback out there like garcia he had fire in his <laughs> mouth. Oh. Nap doesn't have that i saw a team he has respond. panache i saw a t- he said he has fire in his belly he has fire in his belly and come on his ass team playing poorly and then a team respond when they had a quarterback out there with fire in his belly. McNabb has no fire in his belly. He <laughs> just minute. goes through them. What? Wasn't he leading the league when he got hurt that year? Oh, what? yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. He was leading the league. <laughs> <laughs> he was the number one quarterback in the league. He got hurt. He's mis- and then when he makes a mistake, he tries to alibi it off. You know, he tried to alibi that off, uh, you know, that when <laughs> he not just me. And Westbrook was pissed off in that <laughs> Dallas game. I'm so sick of uh, Reed covering up for him. It's uh, that's that's it. I, it, it it's just total incompetence. <laughs> and as far as Reed, what's he's done? What has he done since the Super Bowl? He's less than 500. That's not good enough for an Eagles football. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not good enough for an Eagles football. For an Eagles football, I don't know, dude. I've been watching the Eagles for a long damn time, and most of the years that I remember, yeah, that's plenty good enough for Eagles football. Yes, John, but that was before they went to four straight NFC Championship oh, games. Oh, I forgot, and now they have a tradition of almost winning. Yes, now that Eagles football must sit on its own throne. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well. It won't fit in the, in the trophy case. He is less than 500 since 
that that's that Super Bowl in two oh four. Two oh four. Damn, dude's been playing football for a couple thousand years. 